Hello everybody, welcome to my soccer slash football video blog. Over here, stuck in traffic, as normal. So I thought I'd talk this week, since I haven't, about the Mexican team going to the World Cup. Pretty soon, Miguel Herrera will have to choose his team, choose the players he's going to take to Brazil. So, a lot of rumors. I think there was a list came out by on Twitter by some guy, and then was reported by Univision Deportes, and it had the list. It had, it had a list, and just speculation, I would guess. But here's my list. Not really my list, but lists of players that I think should definitely be there. Starting from the back. Uh, goalkeeper, I know exactly who I would put and who I think should be in the World Cup and start every game in the World Cup is Guillermo Ochoa. He's been playing in France, doing great for France. He's moving on from France. I think Milan was looking at him. And everyone else is just below him. We see... Uh, the only guy who gives him any kind of competition is Jesus Corona, who has been getting his temper flared up recently. Um, he's he's in Mexico as opposed to Europe, which doesn't mean anything really, but there is a, a perception, and of course Europe has greater talent. Um, and I'm not even looking at Moises Munoz and Talavera. It's between Jesus Corona and Guillermo Ochoa. And my opinion is Ochoa. And the back line, a, a question mark for me is Massa. I remember Massa would stink back in the day, then he sort of got better, got experience. Uh, I trust him a little bit more, then he sort of went down some more. One guy who I really like is Diego Reyes. He's young, wasn't really tested, but made awesome plays, Did had good performances. Then he made, I think, one mistake in a, in a, a game recently, or last year, late last year, and sort of been on the downhill, but or not on the downhill, but after that mistake, sort of affected him. He's in Europe, he's playing uh, somewhat for Porto. So I think he definitely needs to be looked at. Not a sure spot like Guillermo Ochoa is in his spot, but someone who needs to be looked at. I think Rafa, uh, at first I was like, that guy's too old. But now I'm, I'm coming around a little bit. Hopefully he doesn't get burned because he's still slow. But I think he's got good technique and good abilities to, to from what he's shown so far in these recent games since he's come back to the national team. Um... And then I'm not really sure about these other guys on the right and the left. I mean, I like Guardado, even though he hasn't been playing too much in Europe. Um, Miguel Layun, Paul Aguilar, these guys are good too, I guess. Um, I tend to want to stick with Guardado in, in a back spot, in a wing spot. But we'll see what happens there in the midfield. Someone who I didn't really like also was uh, Luis Montes, but that guy has impressed me slightly. So I'm willing to give that guy a chance. Um, who else? Peña, Talavera. Uh, Peña I like. He didn't do good in the last game, but I still think he might have a, a good chance. Talavera, eh. The uh, peop the people I think uh, that I'm having trouble with in this list that came out um, is that were excluded in this list were Marco Fabian and Giovanni Dos Santos. Now, first of all, Marco Fabian, I like him a lot. He 
he's been doing all right. He has some issues with uh, discipline a little bit. And he didn't really play too well in the last game. But I think you might you might want to look at him some more and give him a chance. Giovanni Dos Santos should be on the team just like Memo Chua, no matter what. Now I don't know what Miguel Herrera is thinking, if he's really left off this list, or he's. I think he said that he doesn't really work with his system and his tactics. I don't care. Make him work with his t system and his tactics. Put him in the midfield as a creative player, as a player who brings up the, f uh, the ball up the field, as someone who... Uh, who makes runs, who helps on the counter from the start, not necessarily someone up top like Chicharito or someone for, as a target. No, that's not what I like Giovanni playing as. I like him running with the ball, making a pass, getting the ball back, generating the attack, and that's from the midfield. Or if you put him up front, but make sure he comes back. Asks for the ball, demands the ball, starts plays, because that's something that our midfield uh, isn't doing. They do all this, go out to the corner, then make a run, pass it all the way back to Masa, pass it to the keeper, um, and then start over again. Chicharito needs to be there. I still wish Velo would be there. I think that's a bad mistake, and it's disgraceful on his part. Uh, Oribe, I think, should be there, and possibly even in front of Chicharito. Although, Chicharito... You never want to leave that guy off because he will score probably when you never, when you least expect. Um, who are some other dudes? Uh, that's all I can think of. Man. This list that came out, my main beef was Giovanni dos Santos. That guy is just. He's sort of been quiet, I guess, the understanding in these in the last games of the Hex. He was sort of quiet. Didn't make much noise, but his past performances and his just abilities are too great to be ignored and to be left out of any World Cup. So those are my main points for today. We'll see what happens. I'm not liking Miguel Herrera and his tactics of bringing everyone from America. Um, if, he, if he does that and it works out, then great. Maybe team cohesion and team familiarity is something important, uh, even though the talent's not there, which sort of showed because at the end of the hex, the, all this talent was there, all the Europeans, all these players were there, and, you know, look what happened. They struggled. So... But not to say Miguel Herrera did come with these, this America team and play New Zealand. Blew New Zealand away, but who is New Zealand? Who are these teams that he's played with in the friendlies? Uh, a USA team, a BUSA team. He hasn't played anyone that really measures, to really measure how he's been doing. He hasn't won anyone, definitely. He tied the US after playing a horrific first uh, half. So he hasn't done anything. He's played scrub team in New Zealand, and that's it. So not impressed with Miguel Herrera. He hasn't done it yet. We'll see what happens in these future coming upcoming games. Ecuador should be a good one, and whatever else, whoever else they're playing. So we'll see. There's a cop coming along the side here. So uh, over and out, homies. Check me out on Twitter, Beto underscore ATX. That's B E T O underscore ATX comment or whatever on YouTube also.